They're running their obstacle courses. There they go. They'll run to the rock and play King of the Mountain. And then they'll kind of run back and forth. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So, if you guys caught the last video, you know now we have a bottle baby kid goat. And uh, that's what we're doing this morning. We're going to go out and feed it. Actually, it's about lunchtime. I've already went out this morning. It is a pretty cold, dreary day. We're supposed to get some thunderstorms later this afternoon. So I'm going to come out and uh, see how the baby's doing. I've got some uh, news to tell you guys. Some good, not so good. So uh, stay tuned for that. And we'll go over in the Pico pen as soon as we're done over here. So I'm going to feed here in just a little bit too. But first, we got to go feed the baby. The baby comes first. I don't see the mom out here. Oh, yeah, there it is. I see the baby and the mom. Wait on, Mr. Lee Skewin. You're a little too old for Bob All right, let me in. I gotta feed that baby. Come in, sir. He's so heavy, if he's up on his gate, you cannot get this gate open. He is uh, he's a big dog. So there is the mama right there. That mama right there. The white mama with the brown neck. And Rachel had a painted that little baby you can see the, the back end of it has the orange paint what well, you know there and we actually just got them talking about a name i said we got to come up with a name this this little goat's gonna be in a lot of videos coming up you know he's gonna be a popular goat on youtube he's a bottle baby he's the only one but let's see if he'll come to me come here. You, you trained to a bottle yet he's not trained to a bottle yet even though i did come out this morning and he ate the whole thing pretty quick um, so Rachel and I came up with the name for this baby and we decided to call him Daryl. I had all kinds of names. She said, how about Daryl? I said, okay, that'll work. So you can see mama, it's not being uh, too nice. She don't want nothing to do with him. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do this uh, one handed. Well, I don't have any free hands. I'm holding the camera. Come here. Come here, baby. The dog's going to come talking to them. I'm going to set this camera up and just see how long it takes for the goats to uh, knock it down or the dogs. Come here, Lise. Come here, baby. Please keep protect that camera. Come here. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. Let's see if Daryl's hungry today. Lisky, move, boy. Move. Lisky, move. Lisky. Move. You got milk all over your face. Move. Lisky. You're not helping. Move. Lisky, no. Go lay down. Lay down. No. I'm not hurting the baby. He will not let me. Come here. I'm not hurting the baby. He, he, he's being a little too protective of the baby. He said, Dad, just be careful with that baby. Okay. Daryl, you took your bottle good this morning. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And Leesky's rolling around, hitting the camera. Leesky. Good uh. going there, boy. About the time I get the bottle in his mouth. No. Lay down. Lay down. Okay. Here, Daryl. Leesky thinks he's a baby. Okay, so we got this bottle all warmed up, and this is the second feeding of the day, and right now this baby is a little over two weeks old, and if you guys cut the last video, pretty much a how-to on bottle feeding babies, um, right now this baby will be taking three bottles a day, so one in the morning, one in the early afternoon, or yeah, afternoon whenever you can do it, and then uh, the bedtime. One more? You gotta slow down. Here you go. He's, he's drinking it so fast. That good stuff? You got milk all over your nose. You gotta slow down there, buddy. Here you go. Good stuff. Are you full? I think you might be full. 
One more try. One more try. If you don't want it, I'll come back and feed you the rest in a couple hours. Okay, he's done. All right, so there you go. Daryl got his midday bottle. Yeah, you got milk all over your face. So, let's see. He drank about not quite half. Okay, now you want attention? Hmm? You want your bubble now? You want a bubble? Or, what do you know? Yep. So you see, it's a little earlier than normal for feeding time, but we'll probably go ahead and feed. Because like I said, it's going to be storming and raining and all that later, and that's never no fun to feed. Kind of look at some of these babies here. There's little babies in the old dog feeder. Look at this. This is a nice little hangout for them. Yeah, you're stuck in there. Daryl! Where do you go, know, Daryl? Here. Why is everybody so scared of me? You want more Baba? So it's kind of a sad deal. He's looking for his mom. His mom's right there with his brother, but they pretty much disowned him, so. But you know, Cora. You can come over here and be with Daryl so you don't have to be by yourself. Come here, Daryl. The dogs love him. The dogs love him even if the mama don't want to be with him, right? Yeah, you all keep him, uh... You guys keep him... Occupied. Alright. Daryl, you want more bubba? Come here. Let me set the camera. Maybe. Come here. Oh, he's a fast little booger. Here you go. I don't think he wants no more. Nope, he's done. Okay. All right, so let's go get some food and we'll feed everybody. Then we'll walk over in the other pen and talk about something not so good. And uh, I got something in the shop I want to show you guys. So the dogs, I don't know if they're ready to eat or not, but we'll go ahead and feed them and see what happens. So we got babies everywhere, everywhere. These babies have started doing tricks. So these babies are actually jumping up oh, on the plank and walking that board. You guys playing on the rocks? Daryl, you want to come play with these babies? Come make some friends. Come make some friends. Come here. You guys want to be Daryl's friend? Nope. Oh, Mama, don't be mean to him. He's just trying to make friends with your babies. This little one said, I'll play with you, Daryl. Get up here on the rocks. <laughs> a little black one just walked the plank. The black one said, get up here, Daryl. Oh. Mama being mean, that mama don't want her babies to play with nobody, I guess. There you go. This is one of the playground pieces. It's just a rock that the dogs like to lay on and the goats jump on. Alright, I'm going to go grab some food and then start feeding everybody. So you can see it's kind of a windy day. And it's going to blow them storms in, so... All right, so I got the dog food, goat food, and it's a little bit earlier than normal. I'm off work today. It's a weekend, so you can see the babies. They're even starting to run into the barn with the adults now. Come on, goats. 
So that mama right there is a Kiko, and uh, she likes to eat dog food, so I gotta make sure she gets in here. She's pretty smart. See, takes her time. Skeeter, I need yours, bud. Come on, goats. Okay. Put eating their food. Okay, this is the hard part. Ugh. Fresh eggs. Straight from the chickens. This one's like an olive egg color. You guys can see it. Alright, there you go. These chickens get brave and cook for and eat the eggshells I throw down and the dogs get mad. Skeeter's the sheriff. He protects this feed pail from the chickens because as soon as I set it down and walk away, there was like 20 chickens over here. Good boy, Skeet. Alright. Let's set the camera up. So I can't see. Skeeter's chasing the chickens off of them. Good boy, Skeet. So, the chickens knock some out, but nothing goes to waste, as you can see. So, all the adults are up here eating. Pretty soon, I'll have to start filling this creek feeder up where the baby goats, they can get in there and the adults can't. And that'll let them eat all they want 24 seven. But you can see what the kids do while the parents are eating. They just come in here and jump around and play. All that type of stuff. Four of them's coming. So, all right, we're gonna let them eat. Now let's go, uh, I'm gonna go show you guys what's in the shop. Hey, dogs ain't supposed to eat goat food. Okay, we're in the shop. So you guys know we had some more baby geese hatch. Well, as soon as those babies started hatching, Millie and the other goose started getting off the eggs, off the nest of eggs, and we still had more that were kind of hatching. So some of the ones that wasn't hatched out yet, we went ahead and put them in the incubator, and uh, they've been uh, hatching out. So let's go over here and show you. And yes, I still got the truck in here. I've been working on it a little bit. Got some exciting stuff coming. That'll be later, but let's see here. Come out, little guys, or little girls. Oh, here is the newest one that just hatched out. This is a little baby Sebastopol goose. This one is two days old now. And uh, we got three total in here. I've got a, a, a Brincy brooder heater. This is just a heater that don't have any lights or anything. It just has a heating element in it. And they can get under that and it keeps them nice and warm. But there's two bigger ones in there with it. If you guys remember, Millie hatched out a couple eggs. Well, we've sold some and then the other two that was left. It's supposed to get really cold. So we went ahead and decided to put them in the shop with this one that just hatched. And uh, I felt bad for this one because it was all by itself. I didn't want it to be the only little baby in here. We, get, we do have some more eggs in the incubator, but... Uh, they're not hatching yet so we went ahead and took the rest of the babies that Millie had and went ahead and put them in the shop to make sure they don't get too cold and to be company for this other new little baby goose so now I'm gonna lead you guys out to the uh, Pico pen I got some bad news to let you guys know let me grab some feed and then uh, we'll go talk about it Hi, pack you ready to go eat come on so uh, the quack pack has been laying an egg here and there and everywhere but they kind of quit laying in one place. Well, I went to go get this little red dog house the other day, right there where Skeeter's at, and I went to pick it up, and there was like five or six eggs in there. So we're gonna let them uh, keep laying, and once they get a good number of eggs in there, we're going to uh, stick them in the incubator and hatch some more Cayugas. What do you guys think about that? Well, not the guys. What do you girls think about it? And there's the big man, Mr. Mojo. What you doing, buddy? Oh, I've been taking a nap this morning. Mom made me some scrambled eggs and I ate them and been sleeping. Mo, what do you think about all these babies, huh? 
Cause that ain't nothing new to me. <sighs> so guys, I told you we had some good news today and we have some bad news. So pretty much told you all the good news. Um, the duck eggs, the baby geese, the little bottle babies eating the bottle. Um, now it's on to the bad news. So you guys know we had some uh, baby goats born over here. And one of our white and cream brown mamas, she had four babies, quad, quadruplets. And you guys remember the little black runt was like half the size of the other three babies. Sadly, that baby did not make it. Um, we noticed it was kind of acting weird and stuff. It just acted like it had something wrong with it. But it just kept eating from the mom and acting normal with the other babies. It was running and playing with them. But every once in a while, you'd look at it and it just didn't seem right. Um, one day, I was at work. Rachel came out here and she noticed it was kind of being by itself and stuff. So she brought it in the house and she was trying to like feed it with the syringe and all kinds of stuff. And it just, it was eating some. But for whatever reason, it just passed away. Um, it didn't make it very long after that. So um, I'm thinking that it had some kind of internal problems or deformities or something and it just wasn't never right from the beginning. But uh, that's the sad news. Um, all the other goats, we got nine other ones over here. They're still doing great. Um, I think that might be, I can't keep up with, uh, I thought that might be the triplets or the three left of the quadruplets right there, but I'm not sure because there's a whole bunch up on the rocks. But all the other kids are doing great. Um, the mom's doing great. I just don't know why that baby just passed away all the time because it was eating. And um, you know we've had we've had moms with quads before and they've done just fine. But that one was just born very small, so I don't know if it had some kind of problems or what. But and you see these babies are these babies are all growing great. Well, I didn't mean to show you that, but. They do act naughty too, so they usually will take off and start running their obstacle courses. There they go. They'll run to the rock and play King of the Mountain, and then they'll kind of run back and forth. And uh, there's our geese. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see one more somewhere. Maybe I can't count All right. Yeah, there's one more somewhere. Oh, she's right here. And the two girls that we know, um, Millie's one of them. I went ahead and I bought some of these leg bands that are friendly for poultry. And uh, these are made for geese. There goes the babies again. And as we're going through, and we know which ones are girls or females for sure, we're starting to ban them because we're going to start selling some of our adult geese. And um, I think we got way too many males so we're gonna downsize on those for sure and uh it's hard to tell them apart it's really hard to tell them apart now i can look out here and i can see several of them that are males and females but then some of them look alike so the ones that we know that were laying the eggs and stuff i grabbed them and i just started throwing those red bands on their legs two of the males do have blue but we got some more to go through before we start getting rid of them so all right you ready to eat boy huh? he said yeah put your dad and dad i'm ready to eat my egg and my food all right, let's do this. Oh. Look, we got a cheater right here. <laughs> These you just stick their head through the fence and get all they want. Here, let me go. Let me go feed the goats real quick, and then I'll come back and feed you and Yoshi. Shadow and Ebony, the two goats that always jump up on the bucket. Oh, let me walk in front of you, see if I can trip you and make you jump. I think that's what these goats are thinking. All right, come here. You want a bite? Get your bite. Get your pocket full out of there, Yoshi. All right, I got to get everybody. Well, I'm looking good today, brother. He's been strutting his stuff. Springtime is in the air for sure. 
So that is a female raccoon. And that's a female She, that one infers the mom for the first baby, I can tell because the feathers don't look too great. Now, it's Big Mo's turn. He's like, oh, this egg looks really good, Dad. Come on, buddy. Hold on. You want this one? This is all I got. There you go. Fresh egg. We better eat it before he does. Eat, Mo. All right, guys, so that is the sad news. Um, you know, every year, Things happen. Um, we tried to move our kidding dates later into the winter time. So late winter, early spring, uh, we started having the babies about March 1st, or maybe it was a week before that, um, to try to get out of the extreme weather. And uh, we had very good results this year. Sometimes you'll have freak things, like you have a mom that has four kids. And a lot of times those four kids will make it. And then sometimes there's just one that's like a runt and as you guys seen that little black one was the runt for sure and if you guys raise like pigs or dogs sometimes we'll have large litters of babies and sometimes there'll be just one that is a runt and it's a little small sometimes they make it sometimes they don't um it ain't nothing against the mom the mom did awesome she's still raising her other three no problems at all but that's just harsh reality sometimes so enough of the bad Let's look at some more of these cute little babies. They are actually on their playground. We've had this little tykes uh, slide now for, I think about three years and uh, it's lasted forever. I need to find a couple more of these. Um, I had to order this one online years ago because I couldn't find any local used to. You used to see them at yard sales and stuff like that. But I found this one online. I need to order more because the cool thing about them is they're pretty much indestructible hard plastic that's faded a little bit but it's been left out here in the elements and whatever material that's made out of some kind of hard plastic it is uh, lasted and the goats even the big goats get on it and they have not torn it up so, they have, these goats absolutely love it you can see they a lot of times you'll come out here in the middle of the day and you'll be looking for your babies and they'll all be hiding in here taking their naps I don't know why these are in there I guess they think they're hiding from me <laughs> they got their rear end towards me they said, you can't see me, mister. <laughs> that one on top is trying to get the others to play with him. I see you peeking around the corner. Hey, I see you. You guys gonna go run to your rock? Wanna be friends? Huh? Gotcha. All right, guys, so uh, that's today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you guys are all having a blessed day. Stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed to see the adventures of Daryl. Um, I don't think we're going to be keeping Daryl. Uh, he's a bottle baby, and we don't have any intentions of keeping any bottle babies, so Daryl will probably be coming up for sale here pretty quick. Um, we don't want to just turn around and sell him like he is because we just pulled him off the mom. So we want to at least get him on a bottle to where he's used to coming to us and getting his food rather than still trying to get to his mom because if we do sell him, you know, his mom's not going to be around there and uh, whoever gets him, we want them to be able to just go right into bottle feeding him with no problems and him do go good, grow up and uh, either be a breeding buck for someone or just a pet, whatever. So uh, stay tuned for the adventures of him. We're not going to be getting rid of him just yet, but it might be a little bit. So guys, thank you so much. We love you. Subscribe, leave a comment, like this video, and we'll see you next time. You got a funky hairdo, Yoneg. I'm getting some help from the wind.